Hello friends, welcome to the seventh part of this Angular series and in this video we are going to discuss about ng-if directive. In this video series, till now we have covered what is Angular, why Angular, folder structures in Angular, how do you set up Angular on your machine, how do you pass data in your Angular application using interpolation and event binding. So go check out those videos if you want to know about them. Now over here, we are going to discuss about ng-if directive. Welcome to Help Me Coder, the channel which talks about technology and helps the coder community out there. So now NGF is a structured directive. This brings to a question, what are structured directives and what are the other commands that fall under the structured directive? Structured directives are used to change the DOM structure by basically adding, removing, manipulating or hiding elements inside the DOM. DOM stands for your document object model which is basically the whole HTML tags that you see on your uh, page which starts from HTML, head, body and all the div, every other tag that you see over there in the HTML, it's all consists inside the DOM structure. Now, if you remove a particular element from the DOM on the fly, like if you have a div and you suddenly remove that div, so you're manipulating the DOM. Uh, you're not uh, hiding by just saying visibility is equal to false because still the uh, item is inside the DOM, but you're basically removing it from the DOM. The complete div section is gone. So that's how you use these commands to manipulate the structural directive. All the structural directive commands have an asterisk sign. So that's how you recognize them. ngif, ng4, ngswitch. These are some of the structural directives. In this video, we are going to look into ngif. In our next video, we are going to look into ng4 and ng switch in one single video. ng if is a structural directive that is used to render part of the template based on the condition. So if is something like if this thing is true, then you do that. If this thing is false, then you don't do that. So one thing to note, it removes the element from the DOM. It doesn't mean that it is setting the visibility to hidden. It doesn't remove that way. It basically removes the whole element. So if you write the bracket P, so this is the HTML tag in that bracket P, you put asterisk ng if equals to age greater than 18. So if the age, the variable age or the property age has a value of greater than 18, then basically you will be displaying this information that provide your license number, it is text box, all this thing will appear, else this whole P tag will be not be visible. So, and the best part is that this ngif can not only be applied to any HTML tag, but it can be applied to any Angular component selector. So, so basically it evaluates an expression and if the expression is true, it displays it. If the expression is false, it hides that whole section over there. I have created a very small project over here, which is a uh, egg peeling definition project. What it does is that uh, you have a checkbox over here. On when you click on the checkbox, it will show the definition of this particular egg peeling concept. So definition can be shown only by the click of this. So we will see how NGF uh, validates that. So for that, I have created a checkbox with a ng model directive, which is a two way binding kind of a thing where the value of show variable, uh, which comes from app component.ts. So this is a show variable that you see over here, which is by default is false. So it comes from here, it goes into this checkbox. That's why you see it is not checked in or checked over here. Now, based on this value, this is the NGF directive. Now, this is a div basically, which contains the whole definition of this uh, egg peeling thing. So NGF command, how do you write? You just write asterisk NGF, capital I, small f, is equal to show the name of the variable that you want to come uh, that you want to check against so this is the expression if the value of the ng if expression is a true then it will show the value as it will not show it so right now it is false if you see it is not checked over here and that's why this is uh, not getting displayed so once i check this thing it will start getting displayed over here the definition starts coming up over here now uh, to show you what i mean by this and what I mean by visibility is equal to false and which is different from this concept of ng if where it hides, it removes the element from the DOM completely. Let me do one thing. Uh, if you see, uh, I have opened this uh, developers toolbar. This is a filling definition. And this is the whole definition content over here. Now over this definition content, you see this, this is a commented out something which is so which shows ng reflect ng if is equal to true. So right now it is true. That's why this value is true over here and you see the content, the div content below it 
over here now if i turn this off now if you will see that this how this div content is suddenly removed from the dom it totally goes away from the dom and this is the beauty of it so uh, it's not similar to which is visibility is equal to hidden now the other use case scenario where you can find ng if very useful is to check for null how do we do it let's say for example i have this an array of object uh, where we have an emp list array where we are having a uh, uh, name himant and age 23 as first element of that array then we have vivek and age 33 as a second element of that array if i want to display that those array element say for example the first element of that array what i will do is i will check i will say div the name of for example employee is and i will use interpolation over here uh, to de define it and the first element so it will be zero dot name over here if you see the name of the employee is heyman so till now pretty much good now if for some reason you choose an element for example there is no employee with uh, there is no third item over here so if i say mp mp list two dot name there is nothing with mp list two dot name and i will see this there is no value over here because mp list two is a null it doesn't exist so it's a null also you will get an error so if you see over here i am getting an error so if i click on that error and if i go to my console i will see that error it says that cannot read property name of undefined so because emp list 2 is undefined uh, you cannot read the prop value name out of that undefined so that's the error other thing that to note over here is that there are cases when you don't get the value from the backends or it is a null value you don't want to display this in for this line over here there is nothing to there is no employee uh, how do you do that how do you check for null beforehand before even executing that so to do that you use ng if so what if i can write over here asterisk ng and capital i and f and then i can see again emp list and the uh, second value for example this is uh, right now i'm hard coding but this can be dynamic uh, so you have a for loop and then over here you are checking for null before you are even displaying the content out of that arrow you can do that but for this sake of demo i'm just doing this an easy way so over here it checks the value of emp list 2 and if this evaluates to null basically it will never execute this whole it will not show this in the dom it will remove this element from the dom if it is null hence you will not see the error so that's why you are not seeing the error from over here now because this element has been removed from the dom so if i show you over here uh, let me see if I can show you that so this is the binding one that I am talking about so this is the right now you don't see an element over here below this thing so which is because that it has been removed from the DOM and if I for if I add it over here like if I try to print the first value which is um, uh, which is available and if I save this you will see that it will say that the employee name is Vivek and if you try to check on the dom you will see that this is the binding syntax i was talking about it was not present earlier now you see that this is running and you see the value over here so this is a good way to check for null with the ng if directive and very useful feature to use so now similar to other programming languages where you have an if and an else block in angular also you have an ng if and an else block how do we write it we will see that but what purpose does it serve for example if you have this ng if block currently over here if this evaluates to false there is nothing else to execute but there can be a case that if this is false you do this if it is true you do this so this is the places where you will use if and else and you will find that you will be using if and else a lot because there are a lot of places where you do these kind of uh, checks how do you do that let's say for example uh, in our case we have an employee and this employee will check for his age if the age is greater than 18 he will be allowed to peel the egg which is our egg peeling over here but if his age is less than 18 he will not be allowed so we will ex execute two different statements based on the age of a person over here for the sake of saving time i will just copy this 
and I will say this okay so this is a normal NGF now I want to check greater than 18 so over here one more thing you can evaluate all these kind of conditions where and greater than less than all those expressions you can use with NGF so I will say NGF is greater than 18 so if it is greater than 18 you execute whatever is inside this div but if it is not greater than 18 then what to do you put a semicolon over here and then say else provide a, any nickname any name that you want to refer so I will say don't okay so I will say don't peel heck and I will close this div now over here I will say yes just for the fun of it yes I will say copy this this you can peel off the egg you can okay now what if it doesn't so we will write don't peel egg so for this we will use ng template what I will do is I will create another block and I will say it as ng template and the value over here which I have specified in else which is don't peel egg I will copy that put a hash over here and I will say don't p lag and whatever we want to execute we can put it over here so I will over here I will say no comma and this I will copy it over here this name you cannot peel the egg so if it is evaluates to true if this condition evaluates to true you will be allowed to peel the egg if it doesn't evaluate to true then it is a false then you will be running this statement so over here if you see because Vivek this is the name of the employee and if I see his age his age is 10 because of his age is 10 he is not allowed to peel the egg so that's why the condition inside the ng template is getting executed now let me change the age over here I will change it to 100 so it is still saying no Vivek you cannot be so I must have made some mistake over here over here if you see I am not checking the age I am just checking the object over here which is wrong I should check for the age so I would have to say is age over here then it will start checking it so if you see now yes Vivek you can peel the egg which means if the age is greater than 18 which is currently yes his age is greater than 18 but if I reduce the age to 10 you will see that it is no Vivek you cannot the peel the egg again I increase it to 100 you will see yes Vivek you can peel the egg so let's do a quick recap on NGF we started with structural directives what are those we are what are the different structural directives we have then we learned about the NGF command what how does it look like and the different usage scenarios that you can have for NGF like removing the elements from the DOM or the UI based on your expression plus checking for null then we worked on ng if with the else block and the last statement that is left is the last thing that we want to learn is the ng if working with then and else so now let us see ng if then and else with an example just now we saw that for using the else part we were creating an ng template block which gets executed when the expression evaluates to false in ng if then and else we will have a ng template for a condition when it evaluates to true as well so for both for both true and false we will have two different ng template and the condition part will be present inside a ng container so how does this work let's see the same with this example what i will do is this is a condition this is a condition that we want to check so what we will do is we will check this condition over here and we will change this div to ng container ng container so the condition will evaluate get evaluated under this ng container block so once this condition get evaluated now you cannot have this this block the yes condition inside this ng container what we will do is we will have a then block so then block will say yes p x so you can have any text that of your liking that you want uh, for this demo sake i have put yes p x and i close this and the else will be a don't peel egg so this ng template is already there I can copy this I just change the name over here for because it's the same name so I said don't eat egg one and similarly 
for the yes template what i will do is because for the yes also there will be a template so i will copy again just for the just to fast track this control c control d and then i will copy the yes p leg control c control p and i will copy this line from here so the only difference over here is that you have a container where you evaluate just the expression you don't write the statement of what to execute when it becomes true for that you will use ng template where you have a yes p lag so this is a yes template and then this is a false template let me comment out this one so that you know what we are talking about over here so now if you see yes vivek you can peel that because the age is greater than 18 let me change the age i will change it to one year so if i change it to one year you will see that there no vivek you cannot peel the egg so the yes template is this one and the no template is this one so then becomes the yes template and else becomes the no template so this is the ng if then and else this covers the video on ng if structural directive the first structural directive that we have covered in this video series if you have any question on this video feel free to write in the comment section below we will definitely get back to you on that also do remember to hit the like and subscribe button on our channel help me coder thanks for watching and happy coding